Follow me. Tara, 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 Tara. Stick around. Bolt will be right back on Disney Channel. Ah, oh, shucks, there's, there's an, an ad. ad. Hi there, mate. My name is Brandon, and I'm from the land down under. Down here in this country, there's lollies, Ooh. chocolates, crisps. Come, come, come visit Australia. I thought the United States was all there was. I kind of want to go. Yeah, like I don't even have a passport, but maybe we should get one and, and go. Wait, yeah. Yeah, we traveled to Australia just because we saw that ad. These are Maltesers, and I feel like I've seen these in the US before. I had them in England. This first item is kind of a flap because it's not like fully Australian. It's in, like you said, England too, but it was in Australia and it does say made in Australia. Maltesers. The lighter way to enjoy more chocolate. Oh, so, so this of... is kind of healthy? I have a feeling these are gonna taste exactly like, what are those? Waffles. Oh yeah, they're better. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Those are better than waffles. And the crust on the inside. It tastes like it's been sitting in a tent on a campground. What even is that taste? Mm -hmm. All I can describe it as tastes like beep. <laughs> it kind of does, but th but that grosses me out. So I don't want to think it tastes like that. They didn't taste like that last time I had them. So maybe like in the factory, someone just had like a little bit of a campground energy and like they touched them too much. I still <laughs> like it. Should this stay in the land down under? Yeah, I can live without it, so. Oh, that's what you mean. You mean don't bring it to America? Yeah, should it stay in the land down under? Oh, I would say bring it up, cause like, I do feel like this would be a good addition to movie theater candy selections. <coughs> Is that because of the Maltesers? The original Smiths and the best. So it's original and the best. Chicken flavor, they show like a whole chicken wing on the front and it actually makes me appetized if uh, I'm being honest. Yeah, this, this is gonna be good. Smith's is the Aussie version of um, Lay's. And it says that it's made with 100% Australian potatoes. Some of these items have a health rating and this is a 2.5 out of five. 50% good for your health. <laughs> It's got a whiff of an airplane. That smells like I'm cereal. I'm getting United Airlines early flight. Pretzels or something? Yeah. From our time in Australia, I did kind of realize that chicken salt is a thing, so it kind of makes sense how they have chicken mm. chips. Cheers, Cheers, mate. <laughs> it doesn't taste like chicken is the thing. I know, whatever it is, it's good. It just tastes like a french fry. I mean, it makes sense it's a potato, but. It tastes like an original Lay's chip, but elevated. Like, mm. something about it is better than the original. I know, am I like making up that it's thicker? Wait. Yeah, it's more, it has more substance. Because of those real Australian potatoes. I guess now the question is, are Australian potatoes better than Idaho potatoes? This is gonna cause some drama. Somehow the Idaho government's gonna sue us by the end of this video, I bet. Should this stay in the land down under? It'd be weird bringing Smiths when there's already Lay's here. It just would cause too much drama and commotion, and I feel like it would somehow... It would lead to more gun violence, I bet. I was gonna say the stock market would drop just a little bit each day for like two weeks. Mm. So it's gonna stay down under. Okay. So these are Allen's Big Ozzy Road Trip. Gummies? I guess the brand Allen's is an Australian uh, company and it's made in Australia. What's like the Allen's of the US? Is it just like trolley? Hey, what's that? Oh yeah, our um, lifesavers. I guess I only have one, but. <laughs> oh man, these look good. They're so big. And there's a hair on the table, which kind of adds. Oh. That's not from the package, that's just from me, but. Yeah, I feel like we always are just like shedding pube-like hairs everywhere we go. That's fun. I'm gonna get a strawberry too. Same. <laughs> 
They aren't that gummy. They're more of a fruit snack. American gummies, aren't they kind of wet? You know when you open the bag and there's kind of wetness in the bag? Mmm, yeah, this one doesn't really have that. Oh, it is good though. This is the lowest rating we've seen, a 1.5 out of 5. And these are made with gelatin. Oh yeah, I bet they are, otherwise they wouldn't mm. they say like vegan. I just wasn't sure if they didn't use pig bones down under, but they still do. So what is this one? This is banana. Let's see if it actually tastes like banana. I'll try yeah. the orange. So it tastes like banana. This one tastes like orange. I never would think to grab a gummy type snack for like a movie theater day. No. But it is good. Like when I was a kid, I would always be eating fruit snacks. They give me more fruit snack energy. You know how like when you're eating a gummy worm, they actually remind you of candy. What I'm trying to say is that I feel like in the 80s, parents would actually be persuaded and actually thought this was healthy for their kids to eat. Should this stay in the land down under? So this doesn't need to come to America because it just is basic, but it yeah. is good. I don't really F with the little characters on the front. Ugh. We have some pods. We got the Snickers ones, but I'm pretty sure they have it with Twix. Other candy bars mm. too. I've had these before. Same, they're a classic. I remember there was a point where um, you guys went to Australia and then you came back and brought some of these. And I remember every night, probably for two weeks, after dinner I'd like have like five of these. I already view this as like, a fave. Mm -hmm. I remember when I had a Mini Cooper like 10 years ago, these were in my back seat melted in the LA sun and like I'd pick through the bag and they'd be all crusted to the side and like it was- Wait, like, every now and then you'd do that? Yeah, because they were just melted into the back seat, in the bag. Oh, but, like okay. I would just every now and then pick in and grab one and like it's still as good all melted and mush. I don't really get what the point of it is, is, is though. Like, I guess what's the point of any candy, but it, what's the point of making it a different shape? Is it taking the inside of a Snickers and putting, putting on the outside? Is that what's going on? Well, when you think of a Snickers, all it is is like chocolate, caramel, and nuts. So what even would the outside be? It's like oh, a hot outside. It's a little cookie. Reminds me of an ice cream cone, actually. Yeah, there's no nuts or anything. So like, it's not really even, it's just the chocolate and caramel, right? Should this stay in the land down under? I'm surprised these haven't made their way to America because I feel like they would be a hit. We should start collectively buying flights to Australia, going to every supermarket, stealing all the pods and bringing them to the US. Yeah. Because won't that prove a point? Being like, hey, bring them here. We're also going to keep doing that and you guys aren't going to have any. So we didn't pick this up at Kohl's, but we were at the airport leaving Australia and I saw this thing that was like, this is iconic, I iconic Australian thing. And it's called Milo, it's made by Nestle. And it's like a chocolate powder that you mix into like water or milk. And it's supposed to be one of those things where it's like, it gives you all your vitamins and by drinking it, you'll become that soccer player, I guess. That hurts like my body hearing that. So we couldn't figure it out, so we're gonna move to the next product. Okay, this there does you work. Go. This is like children, kid safe or whatever. I kind of like these. Then you don't need to get that stupid can opener. Oh, this is powder. Oh wait, that, that like, yeah, that's what it is. This is reminding me. I don't know if this is like what it's supposed to be, but breakfast incarnations. Like we used to actually mm. eat those for breakfast. Yeah. I mean, there's no way this isn't gonna be good. You know how like Nesquik, it's always good. And even if they stuff a bunch of vitamins in it, it's still good. Mm -hmm. Why is it not mixing? Now I get why they had this. So you can keep reusing it. I'll get it now. Okay. You know what tastes like shit? No, it mixed in so shittily. So to actually try it, I'm gonna have to do something like this. Chocolate mix with a little bit of a grossness. You can kind of tell those vitamins in there, but for mm. the most part, it just tastes like nuts quick. Should this stay in the land down under? I don't even feel like I'm gonna kick a soccer ball like that guy, so. It doesn't need to come to the States. And I think it might already be in the States, but still. This is a picnic. It's made by the brand Codberry. Uh. And I guess picnics came out in 1950 in Australia. Since it's made by the brand Codberry, I'm guessing it's in a lot more places now. Like it's probably in the UK now. I like it. It's just like a little thing to bring to the picnic with the fam. Yeah, when I think of a picnic though, I don't think of a chocolate candy bar. I more think mm. of like a sandwich with ham and cheese and mayo. A hunger busting mix of peanuts, wafer, caramel, and rice crisps coated in Cadbury milk chocolate. 
I am excited. I call for a spite. Looks like a nut roll. Why the fuck is this so messy? Actually though, they need to get that mess back though and fixed. It's weird because you know a lot of times candy bars, even just a simple nut roll, like it tastes like candy. This tastes like something you'd make at home in a kind of a good way. I'm also getting this and I'm not even making it up. It kind of a little bit reminds me of a gonola bao. I know, I kind of view it as a superfood. Like I feel like a nice middle-aged man who's a stay-at-home dad. His wife is a really good doctor and he makes these for his family, you know? Should this stay in the land down under? I would put forth these war in America because I, I would, I don't know if I'd eat them often, but I would be excited. Like if I saw a little tweet saying, picnics are now gonna be in select stores. Mm -hmm. It probably would boost my serotonin a little bit. I feel like they should exclusively be sold at Worlds of Fun in Kansas City. We have a Aero bar. This is also made by the brand Nestle. I don't know why I didn't mention this earlier, but you know the brand Nestle? I view that brand as shitty because they make a crunch bar, and that's one of the most shitty candy bars. Chocolate with a few crunches. Also, I say Nestle. Oh. Grew up in LA. I don't, yeah, I don't know like how you're supposed to say it. And basically the whole iconic thing is, is it's bubbles and this, I also flopped on this one because this is sold in a bunch of places. It's not only in Australia. And this might be a mint flavor because it's green. Oh. Once I found out it's a bubble type of thing, I'm excited. You want to eat it so bad. It reminds else. people of bubble butts. It's this no, whole boobs. fantasy. Oh. It's a very pretty design. Bubble, bubble, bubble. <gasps> okay. This seems like magical. Oh, I thought it'd be crunchy. When I first put it in my mouth, I thought it was gonna be bubble gum. Like I was like, well, I'm gonna be chewing this, but then it's not. Mm. Why did I get the mint flavor? I know there's butter flavors on this. Yeah, it's almost too minty. Like I actually feel like I'm at the dentist. I love the look of it. The taste wasn't there. It's, it's all about your own personal preference. Like maybe it's actually worth it. Just the way that it looks is worth the gross taste, you know? Should this stay in the land down under? I actually do want these to be everywhere in the US just because the aesthetic is so cool. I keep saying yeah. aesthetic. Yeah, I want like a white chocolate cookies and cream one. That's what I want. Twisties chicken. Life's pretty straight without twisties. So straight mm -hmm. means that like life is pretty boring. Mm-hmm. Because you know, the twist also isn't straight. It's like it's a whole <gasps> Oh, I didn't it's a whole thing. Oh, okay, so yeah, that, that makes sense to me. I think these are like actually kind of an Australian thing, so I didn't flap with these ones. For some reason I'm thinking it's gonna be like a funyun type of thing. It smells good. Mm. Oh, they smell like Cheetos, actually. Twisty it looks twist. like a Cheeto, too. Mm. It's a Funyun. I feel like chicken's just a made up flavor. For whatever reason, they must know that saying something's chicken flavored really works down under. But yeah, it just tastes like a Funyun. Doesn't it taste like these aren't as much flavor as American chips? Like, I feel like they're more mindful of sodium. Oh, yeah, they, um, they both don't taste as flavored. Whereas if, like, in America, it's actually, like, get a whole entire thing of seasoning, dump it in, and then just be like, whatever, they're, it's their choice eating it. Should this stay in the land down under? Mmm, I do enjoy them, don't get me wrong, twisty fans. <laughs> but, I feel like we already have Funyuns. I just feel like if they did come to America, they wouldn't do that good because the chip market, we've already got it covered. You let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> we have some Daryl Lee Soft Australian Licorice. It's made in Australia and I actually didn't get this in um, Australia. I'm pretty sure this is like an iconic Australian licorice. It's still part of the video kind of. Yeah. It is. I just don't even like licorice. So I know. I'm not really excited. That's what I was saying. I'm just not a licorice person. Who is even? I just don't believe anyone is. Azealia Banks. Oh. I'm a licorice bitch. Ooh, they have a lot of colors. Oh, it does smell good. I actually feel like this could be good. I'm just gonna get classic red. What I used to love about licorice as a kid is when you can actually peel them. But oh, a lot of these ones, you <gasps> can't do that. Oh, yeah, so you... what is the point? <sighs> Licorice reminds me of old rich people. It doesn't taste like anything different from, um, is the brand just called Twizzlers? 
You guys think so? Well, I kind of like how like you have to bite into it. You know? I know. I'm like slowly kind of turning into a licorice person because I like how you have to make it a moment. Mm, and you grow your jaw. And then slowly but surely you become the number one comedian like my my life. <gasps> I also love how now it's stuck in my teeth. I'm not to dig into mango because that's my favorite fruit. You know, but there's parts of this licorice that my dentist will find in six months when I do my cleaning, you know? This turns into a bunch of tonsil balls in the back of your throat mm -hmm. for the next decade. Should this stay in the land down under? I mean, these are already in the US, so we don't need to like do a vote, you know? Yeah, you know, they're already at Costco. Oh my god! So I was looking through the store and I saw double stuff nail palatin oils. I did some googling yesterday and there has been nail palatin oils sold in the US, but they were a completely different thing. These ones are like a chocolate outside, those ones were like a graham cocker outside or some white type of outside. <laughs> I used to always say Neapolitan was my favorite ice cream flavor. I need to open it. Yeah, pink and white. Oh, because uh, pink, white, and then the outside's chocolate. Okay, for I a was second. a little bit confused. Yeah, this. I was gonna get mad. <laughs> the pink isn't good. Mm -hmm, I kind of like it. Does pink it? wafers. Mm -hmm. I know. I realized that I actually do like the strawberry flavor. At first I didn't, but now I do. But like, I thought these were gonna be so good, but I'd rather just have regular Oreos. Getting behind them. <laughs> What's that even mean? I don't know. Should this stay in the land down under? I like how it's in Australia, so then if I want them again, I have to take a flight. Next time you have the craving, go to flights.google.com and... No, we do not have Tim Tams. I decided to not include these, include those in this video because I have tried them multiple times, multiple flavors. They are delicious though. So mm -hmm. that's the end of it. They actually also used to be sold in American Walmart, so. We have a cherry ripe. It's made by the brand Cadbury, but I guess this is one of the oldest candy bars in Australia and also one of the most popular. Luxurious cherries and coconut and old rich dark chocolate. I don't even think there's one cherry candy bar in America. Can you name one candy bar with chocolate in it that has fruit attached to it? No. no. Yeah, so. We don't really do that here. Ooh, mm, you can tell it's dark chocolate. Oh, this reminds me of a Valentine's Day, like hot box type of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I immediately hate it just because of the coconut. It always reminds me of why I don't like coconut in certain things. Like, like it almost feels like you're eating little hairs or something. Doesn't the taste of it also remind you of something that would be in a Valentine's box? Like the look and taste of it. Mm -hmm. I do have to admit the flavor is weird, but I would be down to have it again. I get annoyed if I hear some someone say they don't like a food because of the texture, because I'm like, wait, who cares about the texture? But this, I actually can't like- Does it remind you of fingernails or something? Yes, move your tongue around, you feel these little mushy things, like, I, just, I hate it. I just love coconut. So. I feel like I'm eating all these parasites. Isn't there parasites like on our eyelashes all the time? So- Oh, like everywhere, right? Just constantly moving and giving us diseases. Yeah, so stuff. even if you're eating parasites, like it doesn't really matter because they're already on you. Should this stay in the land down under? I think this should come to the US, but I'm assuming you're gonna say no. And I also think it should be banned from Australia. <laughs> I kind of like this name. Oh, it's broken. I guess that's what happened when you happened when you bring it across the world. But it's a crunchy made by the brand Cadbury. Now this is sold in Australia, and this one is made in Australia, but it's it's not an Australian thing. Explosion of golden honeycomb. I thought it was gonna be like a Butterfinger thing at first from looking at it. Oh, that like looks so funny to me. Funny. Mm. It's just like a file pit. I have to have one more bite. Why do I want to be with it romantically? Like it's mm. so good. Oh yeah, I feel like I like it, but it's not to that level. And then I feel like you're biting into air. Cause like you see this and you think, oh, it's it's solid. But then you bite into it and it's literally air. It's so interesting to me. And also the taste is not nothing like I've had before. Even just feel it like it's so light. It's like you're feeling, you're holding a feather low key. Should this stay in the land down under? Yeah, I just, I just really want this to be in the US, like really bad. So can we just both say that? I'll disagree with you, yeah. 
one. <laughs> that's how I felt with the sound that Lucas just did. Smarties. Some people say that was Smarties. What do you think of when you think of Smarties? The American candy. Yeah. <laughs> Little yeah. package, you go like this. It opens. They were created by the luxury designer Nestle. Oh, we got to the lowest health rating. <gasps> oh, what? <gasps> Yay, <laughs> it's 0 0.5 out of five. Yeah, this is hey. are bad for you. So these are just gonna be so boring, I'm pretty sure. Is it just an M&M? &M? It's more how than it. How than an M&M. &M. I feel like I've had an M&M &M that tastes like that before. It's good. I think they have M&M's though, don't they? Yeah, they do. So yeah, you know, so it's kind of just like Nestle, like maybe you shouldn't have done this. I actually do like competition. Like it's fun, like mm -hmm. try to create something better, but if this is supposed to be competition, I would go as far to say it's not even competition because it's not good. Should this stay in the land down under? We don't even need to answer the question because our review gave away everything, so. Yeah, you guys can read between the lines. Some of these just look so pleasing, like flake. I'm not looking forward to this one just from the photo, because it looks like it's gonna be sort of a tree bark type energy, but mm. like it might fall into the coconut texture. I but I am willing to be surprised. You can get these inside of McDonald's ice cream cones, mm. sometimes in Australia, I guess, so. There's flakes of dead skin, I flakes. I know, the name, they make it look cool with the packaging, but flake doesn't sound good. <laughs> It's like someone sat in the desert and they haven't put moisturizer on and they just shriveled and It's so wrinkled. gross that those people that want to have sex with dead bodies want to have sex with this. Those are probably people who made it. Yeah, I it just, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, so annoying. <laughs> Saying you after one second. <laughs> no, but you know, it just like all flakes into your mouth. You guys, I can eat you. Mom, do I have to eat it? <laughs> That's how it feels. Chocolate, but fold it into these gross little formations. It is nice how when you bite into it, it just falls apart. Like that's mm. like a, it's cool. It's literally just chocolate, right? Yeah, so it, it, it's not anything too exciting. Cause I don't like just plain chocolate really. I need a nut, caramel, something, you know? Should this stay in the land down under? I'd be down to have this in an ice cream cone, but we don't need to rush the, the importation of yeah. this. Fries Turkish Delight. I like how there's a new brand entering. Fries. It's not Cadbury, mm. it's not Nestle. I've never heard of this one in my life. Is it from Turkey? The country? Like, I don't know. It, it says an exotic taste sensation. Also, this one's a flop because it's not like an Australian candy, but... <gasps> wait. Oh wait, this is fruity. I know, it's full of jelly. Okay. It's like I'm eating a snail. When I actually just have the taste, I'm like, oh, it doesn't even taste that bad, but just the sensation of biting into this gummy. Like I've never had a chocolate coated gummy. Just like you said, it isn't that bad taste-wise. How come there aren't more chocolate coated gummies? I guess maybe for this reason, they did the test group, so people immediately go, oh my God. Should this stay in the land down under? I just don't think I can get behind it like I could yeah. with the crunchy. So uh, if I can't get behind it, then I guess don't come. Yeah, if it was Shark Tank, I wouldn't invest. I don't know if you guys can tell, but we've made a mess. So that means that the video is concluded. Suggest you guys to watch more commercials and get influenced by advertisers more mm -hmm. because they actually have good ideas. Yeah, be more open to it. Open your mind to what's being advertised to you. And don't be afraid to consume. <laughs>